Welcome to the Focus Usage Guide and for this video, we will show you how to upload an Aspen Custom Modeler or an ACM model into Focus. And the model that we're going to be working with is located in the CCSI toolset GitHub page and to get there, we just need to type in github.com slash CCSI dash toolset and then we scroll down to our repository and under pin repositories, we click on process models bundle. Then we scroll down and click on two releases here. Then we scroll down and we download the solid sorbens MB reactor, where MB stands for moving bed. So we click this. and we click clone or download and we download the zip and so we have this message box open so we click OK and we copy this by clicking Control C and we go to our desktop and paste it by hitting Control V so as you can see we have successfully downloaded the moving bed reactor folder to our desktop so we go to our folder and we go to ACM and we go to steady state and this is the file I'm going to be working with so what we're going to do is going to open up SimCenter by going to our Windows start menu and typing in Center in the search box and we click Center config GUI and we click to proceed and once we have this box open so we go to browse we go to our desktop we go to our moving bed reactor folder and we select ACM, steady state, and moving bed SS, where SS stands for steady state. So we click enter and it usually takes about a minute or so for SimCenter to upload the file. So once SimCenter opens the file, SimCenter always automatically opens a read only version of the file. So we're going to make this bigger. And we go back to SimCenter. And once again, we have the location of our file here and the version number for our Aspen Custom Modeler and the constraint meaning it has to be at least version 8.4. And we have the input file, which is moving bed ss.acmf and the title of our center file. And I think the description and the author's name is optional. And we have the date, which is today's date. And we click next. So we have this page where we can put in our input and output variables. And for this example, I am going to keep it simple. So we're just going to go to valve B4. And we're going to, going to double click it. And as you can see, we have the list of inputs and output variables shown on this page here for valve B4, where the input variables are, are labeled under fixed and the output variables are labeled under free. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to our SimCenter page and type in the name of our valve, which is before dot and then the squiggly line and we hit enter. So what SimCenter did is it's searching for all the input for all the variables that are available for valve before. So for our input variable, we're going to select for, for this example, PNT or into.p and into.t. So we're going to make this input. And for our output, we're going to select sorb in p and sorb in t. So we scroll down. We make this the output and likewise sorb in t. And we also make this the output. And I also like to add that if the user is feeling bold, you can always go here and modify the name of the variable to search for the variable, or you can always use the variable tree. And likewise, you can always change the name of our input variable. So let's say we want to add more details. So we type in valve before.into.p and valve for.into.t. And likewise, for the output variable, we can always do the same. So typing in 
valve p4.sorbin.p and valve p4.sorbin.t. And we can always add the minimum and maximum values or the bounds. So but these are optional, but it never hurts to do that. So let's make it going to 1 to 1.5 and make this go from 100 to 150. And we can always add description, but then this is optional. So once we're done, we can click finish and we can close the ACM file and we're not going to save it because this is a read-only version and our original file is already saved up in our desktop. And as you can see, whenever we create a SimCenter file, we have the JSON file generated by SimCenter automatically created in the same folder where our model is located. So what we're going to do next is going to open up Focus and we are going to add our model into Turbine, which is a job queuing feature of Focus. So we're going to click Browse and we're going to go to our desktop and look at our moving bed reactor folder and we go to ACM, Steady State, and we select our JSON file that's automatically generated by SimCenter. So we click Enter and we click OK. So we let's call the session ACM underscore example and let's save it by hitting Control S on our keyboard. We can continue and I'm going to save this in our desktop. So let's just call this ACM example to keep it simple. So then we go to our flow sheet and we create a new node. So we're going to call this ACM underscore file. I'm going then to open our node editor and we're going to select for the model type turbine and for the model we're going to select our moving bed underscore SS model. So as you can see our input variables are uploaded under input variables and output variables are also uploaded under the output variables and a status of 0.0, .0 means that the simulation has successfully run. And this step is optional, but whenever the model is being tested, you can always type, put in a zero here. And the reason for doing this is so that we know that the simulation has run successfully because these values of zero should change to the correct answer. So let's save this file by hitting Control S on our keyboard and clicking Continue. Then we are going to run our simulation by clicking this green triangle. As you can see, the simulation has completed successfully, so we go to this box and click OK. And once again, the values of our output, the pressure and temperature, has been changed from zero to the correct answer. So we do indeed have a successful simulation, and a status of 0.0, .0 further confirms that. So this concludes our tutorial regarding how to upload an ACM file into Focus, and thank you for watching.